Best Bites Forever. Hi everyone, I'm Chef Alicia from bestbitesforever.com and today I'm making Get Well Soup. I'm going to start off by mincing 15 cloves of garlic. The quickest way to do this is to start with the back of your knife and get it all mushed up and then switch over to the sharp side and just go over it a couple of times. Next I'm going to peel two carrots. Notice that I'm going back and forth with my peeler. That's because it's sharp on both sides and it's quicker to go just back and forth. Once you get them all peeled, go ahead and trim them into more manageable sizes and I like to cut mine bite size because this is soup and everything in your soup should be bite size. So here I am just lining up my carrots and trimming them down and I'm going to show you the size that I'm trying to get them to right there. Next I'm going to move on to my celery and I've trimmed off both ends and removed the leaves and then I'm just going to make a few slits down the thicker part of the celery. Again this is just to ensure that everything in my soup is bite size. Once you get your celery all cut up it's time to go over to the onion. So I have here one white onion. I've trimmed off one end leaving the root end because that's going to kind of hold it together for me. Peel both sides and then make like four or five flat cuts on this way and then switch it over and we're kind of going to do french fries going the other way and again that little root is just holding it together for me. Once I finish going this way I'm just going to turn it the other direction and this is going to give me kind of a small dice but again bite sized pieces is what we're going for. Here I have a piece of ginger. It's about three by one inches and I'm going to peel it with my vegetable peeler. Somebody told me you could do this with a spoon which is true because I tried it but I'm not really sure why you'd want to. So go ahead and cut that into thin slices this way and then stack those slices up and cut those into little thin matchsticks. And once you get your beautiful little matchsticks all cut up, put them in a cute little pile, turn it sideways, and this is how we mince up our ginger. You can also run this through a grater if you want to or if you feel like dirtying your food processor, which I didn't tonight. So I'm moving over to my stove and I have one tablespoon of coconut oil along with two tablespoons of olive oil and I'm going to get those nice and hot and then I'm going to place everything in the pot all at once all together along with a teaspoon of salt, some fresh cracked black pepper and then I'm going to saute it around until it starts to look all beautiful like this and I have nice translucent onions and then I'm going to put a whole chicken right on top of it. A little bit of salt for the chicken and a little bit of nice fresh ground black pepper and then I'm going to need to add some chicken stock onto this. So I'm adding 32 ounces of chicken stock and the chicken doesn't need to be covered all the way in stock. We're going to add a little bit of water and we have the bones and the whole chicken in there so it's going to make its own beautiful stock. I've also added one bay leaf and then I'm going to put the lid on my chicken. About 30 minutes later you need to open it up, be careful you don't get burnt by the steam, flip the chicken over and continue cooking until your chicken reaches 165 degrees in the thickest part of the thigh. Remove the chicken from the water and bring it up to a boil. By the way you should only be simmering, 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 not boiling while you're cooking your chicken meat. You don't want tough chicken. Bring that broth up to a boil and add in your noodles. Cook those for 8 minutes. Meanwhile I'm going to use a pair of tongs and my fork and be very careful because chicken is very hot right now so just use that fork to pull the meat right off of the bones and what's extra awesome about this recipe is I'm not going to use all of this meat today. I'm just going to use about one third of it and the other two thirds I'm going to use for dinner tomorrow and I will put some links in the description for this video to give you some ideas of what you can do with that extra chicken meat. Meanwhile I'm going to move about a third of this over into my pot and I'm going to reserve like I said the other two thirds. Oh run your knife through it and get nice little bite sized pieces. I almost forgot but we're going to run our knife through the pieces we pulled off and get nice little bite sized pieces. Everything should be bite sized in a soup. There's my leftover two thirds. The other thirds in the pot and let's plate this up. There it is all beautiful and ready to eat and I hope you feel better. I personally feel better already. Enjoy the soup. For more delicious recipes be sure to check out my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe while you're there. You can also check out bestbitesforever.com. Thank you so much for watching and happy cooking everyone.